the sad thing once again is that it's coming so late in FS22's life, let's put it that way. The slight positive fact is that it does, to me, actually extend the life of FS22 by some time. It means that you don't have to just jump onto FS25 if you don't want to. There is a lot to do on these new maps that we've done over the last couple of episodes. They're coming out thick and fast. Uh, they're obviously trying to get them all out before before the new before F25 drops. So there's just plenty of maps coming out. And what it's actually doing is it's actually extending the longevity of FS22. It can be played without having to go to FS25 straight away. I'm going to go to FS25 straight away, but I think I might still keep a series going on FS22. I don't know yet. We'll see.